perfectly honest, but um, in, part of what empowerment is is to create a safe space for women. And I will say that in years past, this room hasn't always felt very safe. And we have to ask ourselves why. And so when last year, when Mia was like, Gab, I know how you feel about me, but I'm, I'm trying to rebrand, I'm trying to bring a different kind of energy. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Because I was afraid, you know? I'd been in the room before and it was terrifying and judgy and scary and um, I didn't come back. Wow. And I was like, well, are you going? <laughs> You know, how many years do we say? This is my first time, actually. <laughs> but we have to address the elephant in the room. Why is it so scary? What are we doing to each other? If there's anyone in this room who understands what the next woman is going through, it's the, it's the person next to you. So why are we making it harder to talk? Why are we making it harder to share resources, information? You know what I mean? So part of the empowerment that we want to address goes beyond business. If we can't meet face to face on the same level playing field, eye to eye, and be honest, without the you know, Snapchat filter and the Instagram filter that we put on our lives, okay. we can't all come up. What's the point of getting a seat at the table if you're, you know, you're looking at the door every time you know, the door opens, judging the, the, the person coming in the door who's try also trying to slide up a chair? Mm -hmm. So, part of what I want to, you know, really drive home is you can create so much magic when people are comfortable, <laughs> when inclusion is real, mm -hmm. um, where honesty isn't rewarded with um, judgment. That's how real empowerment starts. Um, I just want to say, like, for me and speaking my truth and being honest, like, for so many years, I personally just fought against the term basketball wife. Mm. I hated it. And I did not want to be known as a basketball wife. And I remember a really pivotal moment for me and Miss Gail King is sitting here. I don't even know if you remember this, but I did an interview. And it's just something about a basketball wife. And I said, I'm not a basketball wife. And Miss Gail immediately sent me a text and said, I don't like how you answered that. I don't like how you answered that. Like, there's got to be a better way to answer that question. And I was so focused on about having my own and not being known just because I'm married to somebody that played basketball. I wanted a career. I wanted you know, books. I wanted movies. I wanted all of these things. And because I was so focused on that, being honest with you guys, my marriage really suffered because of it. Mm -hmm. I wanted nothing to do with being what I thought a basketball wife meant. And sitting here today, just even in this moment, I just learned so much that being a basketball wife is so big and so amazing and encompasses so many things. And it doesn't mean that you give up your career to be married to somebody. You can uplift each other and do so many <coughs> amazing things. And I even learned that just sitting here today listening to the panel talk. And I want to continue to change my perspective on the word basketball wife and be a part of this community. Like I said, this is my first time being here. And like Gab said, uplift each other and not judge each other and be okay with the title of basketball wife. And also be proud of uplifting my husband, not feeling like I'm sacrificing myself by doing that. Being a great wife, not feeling like Oh, that means I don't have a career if I'm just paying attention to what he has going on. You know, being there to support him through all his times is part of being an amazing woman. And I'm learning that, and I've also learned that today. So I thank you all for including me. And I'm sorry that I had those feelings and, and those judgments with the term basketball. Why do I had a tough time with that, guys. And thank you so much for today because I'm continuing to grow and understand how much we need each other. And there are things that we go through that only people in this room would understand. It is not easy being a basketball wife. <laughs> <laughs>